success. You know what I'm saying? Yeah! Are you kidding me? And I'm grateful to be alive. Beautiful. What can you do? I think it's cute. I am struggling. So ideal. Oh my god. I think a man just matched with me. <gasps> what the f today for absolutely no reason. I got so much sleep last night. I've not had a hard big day at all, but I am struggling to keep my eyes open. Like today is one of those days that I wish so badly that I could just have a coffee and it give me a little pep in my step without me having a panic attack. My eyes are stinging. I've been sitting on the couch editing my vlog all afternoon and I've been working on it for so long and I've only made six minutes into my vlog. I just feel like I'm moving at like a snail's pace today and it's so annoying. Like move faster. Why are you tired? It's frustrating me. <laughs> it's 20 past three and I'm going to get up and get into some active wear and I'm going to drag myself to Pilates. It is the literal last thing that I want to do. It'll make me feel better, I'm sure. It's also gorge weather, so I'd love to spend some time at the beach after Pilates. So like, if I'm already gonna drive to the beach for sunset, I may as well go a bit earlier and do Pilates. That's my like reasoning in my brain. Doesn't really make sense, but we'll take it. You know what I mean? I was just about to say, I promise this will be the last time I mentioned the weather in this vlog. I can't make a promise like that, but the weather today has been literally phenomenal and apparently, apparently I've never been on the news before. The weather app is saying the weather is meant to look like this all week. Oh, that makes me so happy. Could actually cry. <laughs> like bless the rain for coming and making everything green, but I'm so happy you're gone. Also, I got my nails done today. I don't know why I decided to go Easter <laughs> and I kind of went rogue. I didn't know what I wanted. And so I just decided on a different color on each finger. Bit rogue, but I don't really care. I enjoy. We also went like as short as physically possible on my nails because by the end of the four weeks, my nails grow so quickly that they're so long and so annoying, but I feel like it's so expensive to go every three weeks. And so we really like filed really down. Down into the skin and I love it so much. If my nails could stay this length for four weeks, they'd be greatly appreciated. Oh, I need to get up and get dressed. I actually got a package in the mail, so I need active wear. So maybe I try on some of that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. How adorable is this? If my hair wasn't slick, I would put it on. But this tank is what I'm most excited for. Okay, I actually really like the high neck of this. This material I think is my favorite. The Elixir range material feels so so gorgeous. That's what the shorts look like on. It's like they're the perfect length for me. Like they're not too long. They're not so short. And they have pockets. It's so ideal. I don't know if I want to wear a tank or an oversized tee to the gym. <laughs> like is today an oversized t-shirt day? Or is it a cute little tank? The oversized tee I wore on my walk this morning is from LSKD and I'm a big fan of it. Because the back has all these colorful little graphic thingies on it. And it's a great oversized fit. I think it's in like a 4XL. <laughs> different charges at all able to charge it and it just won't charge and I don't know if that just means it's dead <laughs> if it's at the end of its life my hair is so oily I literally washed it yesterday amazing I need to get changed this 
polo shirt. <laughs> Makes me feel like a high school PE teacher. Never felt better. Uh, I don't think I have scissors up here. And I bought some red ribbon to channel my inner Hayley Razzo. <laughs> Time to take jewelry off and feel really ugly. <laughs> Let's see if I cut the ribbon to a good length. I have doubts. Wait, why is this hard? <laughs> I feel like I'm back in primary school getting ready for like the athletics carnival. Do I look stupid? I think it's cute. Am I 15 or 25? You'll never know. Hayley Razzo does it, therefore it's cool. Okay, I need to go. I need to get my Crocs and I need to go. I'm actually excited to play tonight. I am a bit nervous because we've had two weeks off. We had a week off because it rained and the fields were just like a big puddle. And then we had last week off for Easter. So this is only our third game and I'm like a bit nervous to like get back into it, but I'm equally so excited. Like I missed it so much in the two weeks that we had off. I also checked this afternoon and we're at the top of our ladder, which is crazy, obviously. We had two games in, so like a lot could change. Also, there was a team, our division was like made this year, like it didn't exist before this year. And there was a team that was put in our division who was smashing everyone. I think their first game was like 13 nil. And they've now been removed from our comp, so we never have to verse them, which is such a sleigh for us. I'm intrigued to like see how the rest of the season goes. It's kind of fun and exciting. I don't think I've played for like a winning team since I was like 16, 17. I'm enjoying it. I'm genuinely so proud of myself for actually like getting out of my comfort zone and finding a team. I was really, really close to committing to playing for my old team and just driving an hour every Saturday to play my soccer game. But I'm so glad that I forced myself out of my comfort zone and signed up for this team. The ladies are so nice. The overall like vibes are just high. Wednesday nights are very quickly becoming one of my favorite nights of the week. And I'm excited. I am hungry, which is not ideal because I'm about to run for hours, but what can you do? I am absolutely gobsmacked. I just finished dinner. I think my Wednesday night tradition is getting GYG on my way home from soccer. It just feels like the best reward ever. We won 7-1 tonight. To be fair, their one goal, they were definitely offside and it didn't get called. So like it shouldn't count. But like, whatever, whatever, whatever. It was such a fun game. And I scored a goal, which I never do. Like it's so rare that I score. I feel like I'm normally the player setting up the goals, not actually scoring them. And that high after scoring a goal, like, oh, I haven't felt like this in ever it's so satisfying it's i feel like it's a similar feeling to when you tell a joke in a group of people and everyone is laughing like really really hard and you're like oh, i'm the funniest person alive like i've just scored and i'm just like oh i'm that good i'm not <laughs> But like it's boosted my confidence that much, I'll tell you. It was such a good goal too. Like I don't, I don't mean to boast. But I was playing right mid. I was on the right top corner of the 18 yard box. And I got the ball and I just took a shot. And I hit the top left corner. Like, whew. It was, oh. and I know I was saying on the way there, but like Wednesday nights are like the highlight of my week. I just have so much fun and I, I don't know how I just stumbled across such a good team. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. I loved it so much, but I just ate dinner. I've just been posting all my stories. I posted a cute little photo showing my hair ribbon. What are you doing? P loves the couch when the covers are not on. Oh, I have to hang the covers out before I go to bed. I hate washing my couch covers so much. My least favorite job ever. But I think Winston loves the texture of the couch without the covers on and he just digs and digs and rolls around like a crazy man. But I'm going to take him for a little walk around the block and then shower, have some moon milk, head to bed. I already know I'm going to be so sore tomorrow. Soph and I went for a huge sunset walk yesterday and we kind of got a bit carried away and ended up walking like eight and a half kilometers I almost said kilos which is like all fun and games and then I woke up this morning and my hamstrings were already sore from pilates and then my calves were really sore like I just felt super like blown up and I like stretched and took it easy today but I mean I just ran a whole soccer game so obviously it didn't help every step I took I could feel my calves like like the pain didn't go away once I'd warmed up which is what I was hoping for I just know I'm gonna wake up so sore but I think I'm gonna have a rest day tomorrow and just walk I also inquired with a new coach. Uh, I just like, I can chat about this later. I need to get ready for bed, but my health has just been at like such a weird spot for a couple of years now. And I've tried and tried and tried to get it on track by myself and <laughs> I'm really struggling to do so. So I need some accountability. I'm so like hesitant to get a coach because of my last experience with a coach, but I trust this new coach super well. And I explained my background and like what I wanted. And she sounds like the perfect fit. 
so that's exciting but i was just like thinking about me having a rest day tomorrow and i'm like well soon i'm gonna have like a program to th follow throughout the week and i'm really excited scheduling in my runs pilates soccer and i think one gym session a week just because i feel like strength training is really important and it was such a huge part of my life that hopefully if i add some diversity in but one day a week still go to the gym i'm really hoping i'll fall back in love with it that's what i'm hoping <laughs> surely i can get to the gym for one session a week like it can't be that hard oh i'm so tired i don't want to do anything also my hair is like rock solid and i hate sleeping with dirty hair but my hair is always dirty so there's not much i can do about that really i'm like sad that soccer is over like i'm sad i have to wait till next wednesday to play again which is like that's the feeling i've been craving like this is what i've been wanting for so long and i'm so happy I know I'm so late to the train, but I've just, using the word discovered sounds stupid. I've just found for myself, Chapel Roan. I don't know if that's how you say your name. Maybe the best like queer gay girly pop music I've ever heard in my entire life. And I hated it the first time I listened to it. And then it just kept coming up on my TikTok and now I'm obsessed and I actually can't listen to anything else physically. So I've spent the morning doing a bunch of housewife jobs. My couch cover is out to dry. I'm so proud of myself. The hardest task of all will be putting it back on my couch tonight, but that's a later issue my sheets are in the wash i've just put half of some fresh sheets on my bed and i'm going to continue putting some washing away guys the weather today i'm sorry i'm sorry to talk about it but it's literally perfect it's so good there's a little bit of crispiness in the air and i actually couldn't be happier about it it makes me so happy i could cry i feel so much joy in my heart when the sun is out and there aren't any clouds in the sky my bedroom door is open i've got the breeze coming in i've got gay girly pop music blasting on my speaker and i'm gonna do my laundry and i'm grateful to be alive and that's my thursday morning update It's currently 3 p.m. Oh my god. I think a man just matched with me. What the f- I'm so confused. That is some crazy shit right there. Why- uh, Why am I on his thing? Surely my settings aren't wrong. Um, anyway. <laughs> that is so weird. It's 3 p.m. I just got home. I went actually to a new alterations lady. I mentioned a couple vlogs ago that I wanted to find a little old grandma somewhere on the Gold Coast who alters clothes. I just feel like I'd rather like give my money to someone like that compared to like a big company. I had a girl reach out to me on Instagram and said that her grandma is a seamstress full time. So I went to her house Today and she was literally the cutest lady ever and was so helpful. I took three pants and a t-shirt. I took my white version of this shirt and she was such a legend. So I think they're going to be done in like two weeks time. And then I took myself to a coffee shop and finished off my book. The more and more I was reading this, the more I realized that I was really convincing myself that I liked it. And I don't think it was that good. I feel really mean saying that. And like, I guess it just wasn't for me. I think I'm giving it like 2.5 so that on Goodreads, it's like rounded up to a three. But like, is it a three star? Like I I could really sit here and tell you all the reasons why I didn't like it, but I don't want to be a negative Nancy. There are men playing rugby in the street watching me vlog, so I'm gonna go inside. I went grocery shopping and I am hungry, so I bought snacks, but I just kind of needed a top up. I'm conflicted on what to do because it's 3 p.m. and I'm hungry, but like do I have lunch or just like a snack and then dinner in a couple of hours? Maybe I'll have a smoothie actually. Hi. We need something really cute. Oh my gosh, that's such a big stretch. <laughs> really? You can't tell me there's a better feeling than getting into bed with fresh sheets and with freshly shaved legs. Top tier. Also, this is the first time I've done my pinky gingham with my green gingham. And I'm kind of vibing it. I really enjoy it. Gingham bedding is just one of my favorite things ever. Like, I don't think I'll ever get sick of it. Anyway, I've started a new book tonight. I'm 40 pages in. This is House of Hollow. Same author as The Invocations. She wrote this before The Invocations. And so I don't know why I was just expecting that I'll probably enjoy it, but probably a little bit less than The Invocations. But I'm 40 pages in and I've been hooked from page one like i'm really really enjoying so far and i'm so intrigued to know what's actually going to be going on it's also under 300 pages <laughs> that is 
so ideal. So I'm really excited. I love this cover so much. It is currently 8.30 and Soph and I have committed to watching the sunrise. Ugh, it's an early start for me that I'm not used to. But we're going to go for a sunrise walk and then do a 7.30 Pilates class. Really start our morning right and i'm excited i am scared normally when i have my alarm set really early my body decides to not let me sleep but we'll see how we go guys i did it it's 5 20 and i'm away i'm so proud of myself <laughs> i made my greens so i could drink them on my walk so i like had something in my stomach because i've i'm hungry i've woken up i'm starving <laughs> i read my book for so long last night and i could have kept going like i had to put it down because i had to go to sleep but i wasn't really tired in the slightest which is so frustrating because i am tired all day every day like i think it's my iron which by the way i'm getting an iron infusion next week we can talk more about that later because i'll be stressing i'm so tired all day every day and then i get into bed and I'm reading and I don't get tired so that's really good but also my book was starting to like freak me out like it was getting a bit creepy so I, I had to put it down my son is in bed I also really like my outfit this morning it's all black <laughs> the tank and leggings are from Ella's KD and I'm obsessed and then obviously my new favorite jumper over the top this jumper you will be sick of seeing I will not take it off I'm a bit scared it also comes in brown and I'm restraining myself from buying it anyway we need to head out the door It's Saturday afternoon. I just filmed a little TikTok trying on a few suits because I have a wedding coming up next month and I can't for the life of me choose which color to wear. So if you don't follow me on TikTok already, shameless little plug. But I'm going to a hen's tonight, hence my hair and my makeup. I am having one of those days where I hate how I look. <laughs> Inconvenient timing. It took me so long to do my slick and then I don't even think it's a good slick. So I might redo it. But it's come the time where I need to pick an outfit and you're gonna like keep me company and help me while I do it. I wish that you could speak to me in real time because that would be really, really helpful. I have a few options. I'm not obsessed with really any of them and it's not the outfit's fault. I think it's purely just how I'm feeling about myself today. <laughs> Trying on the suits got me thinking though. What if I do this black tube top? Tube? Tube. Tube top. Black score. I did wear this last weekend. So it just came out of the wash actually. I could do all black outfit, fun colourful blazer over the top. But is this giving like businesswoman? Maybe a different colour. The only dress code is to not wear white or nude. I'm just kind of stuck like a blazer's just giving two businesswoman. Or is this quite fun? And then like maybe my black cowboy boots to complete the all black. Isn't it crazy? I think this is about feeding myself as well. Isn't it crazy that we have to choose clothes to wear every single day for the whole rest of our life? Okay, actually like this might be quite fun. Is it kind of like, I don't know what genre I am? <laughs> like, am I going clubbing? Am I going to a business meeting? Or am I going to a farm? Ah! I also have this dress from Princess Polly that I've actually never worn before. It's very like flowy, comfortable, sparkly, which I feel like is fun for hens. But I'm also just like, does it look like I'm just wearing like a sheet? I don't know. Rachel's not replying to me. We need her help. I also have this Rachel? I also have this outfit. I wore to Bree's wedding, just like a vest and pants. It's not my favorite fitting vest I've ever tried on. Should I just put it on and see how I feel in it today? See, I don't think I like how like high neck it is. With just some like white sneakers maybe? Okay, a denim jacket's chuggy these days because why do I kind of feel like wearing this denim jacket? I also have a blue one, but <laughs> if you were here back then, I love you literally more than anyone. This is my old cafe denim jacket that I would wear over my barista uniform Um, because we had to wear a cover shirt to work. And so I feel like it's really well worn because I wore it five days a week for like three years but why is like seeing myself in a blue denim jacket kind of doing something to me but would an all black fit be way more fun I wish you could speak to me through the camera right now and just tell me what to do Rachel's just as stressed as I am <laughs> picking an outfit I wonder if I FaceTime so she'll answer oh I'm literally sweating <laughs> are you busy no, I'm just editing. Okay, I need your help. Okay, I made it out of the house. I went with my all black outfit because it just felt like the safest option available. I got stuck in so much traffic, but we made it. I'm actually a little bit early, meeting up for the girls at the boat. I mean, not early, but like not late. So, we're about to board the boat and celebrate our bride to be. Oh, yeah! Sorry, <laughs> I've just been 
sitting on my couch scrolling through my camera roll from tonight because I had the best time. It was one of those events where all day I was just feeling so hermity and introverted and I was like, oh, I'm not super excited to like go to this event and have to have small talk with people and socialize. But then once I got there, I just had the best time ever. <laughs> like I'm annoyed at myself. But we went out for Skay's Hens. We went to the Yacht Club in Brisbane and went out on one of their party boats for a few hours, which I'd never been on a party boat before and I get motion sick, so I was a little bit stressed, but it ended up being so fine. You could hardly feel that you were on a boat, which was such a sleigh. Like, thank God. And it was such a fun time. I can't believe that another one of my high school friends are getting married. And I'm so grateful to have friends in my life who have been here for so long and are still such good friends now. But we got to celebrate our bride-to-be, dancing around a party boat for a few hours. I was sober tonight, which was just kind of my choice I wanted to drive home and not make like a big weekend out of it because you got to stay somewhere and then Winston and then it's a whole thing and I was a bit worried that I wouldn't enjoy myself because I wasn't drinking because I have this like toxic trait in my head that I think I am more fun to be around if I'm drinking like people like me more I'm more outgoing I feel like my conversation skills are like a bit better but I actually had a really really good time and like Rachel and I tore up that dance floor completely sober and still had such a good time and it just kind of like proved to me that I can do those sorts of things without drinking which is so good. It was also such a nice turn of events because I, as I was saying in my vlog when I was picking my outfit, I was having a really like I hate myself and everything kind of moment. And then once I actually picked my outfit and headed out the door, I felt really good. And when you feel good, you look good. You know what I'm saying? I got home late and then Winston was crazy. So we were just been playing fetch for the last like hour. But I'm going to go up and shower and head to bed. Oh my gosh, I don't have a book to read before bed. I finished House of Hollow today and I loved it so much. Like easy five stars for me, which I haven't given a book five stars that's not part of the Magnolia Park series in a while so I'm stoked with that and I really I don't know I just did everything I needed to do like it just ticked all my boxes like it's definitely not the best book ever written but it just felt so good to me so five stars without a shadow of a doubt it had me on my toes the whole like 300 pages of it I really liked the characters I loved it all so if you're like wanting to dip your toe into dark fantasy House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland is where I would start I really enjoyed maybe I do a silly little romance before another fantasy I I have Cinderella is dead, but I don't feel like I want to jump straight into another fantasy of some sort. I'm so thirsty. Let's do Crimson River in the Eden series. This will make me fall asleep so quickly. <laughs> Good night. <sighs> Getting getting that on is so tight. I've decided I'm getting up and going for a run first thing this morning because if I don't, I'm not gonna get it done. And I told myself mm, last week that I was gonna go for at least one run a week and I played soccer this week, but I haven't been on a run and I'm dreading it. I also did not get enough sleep last night. I think by the time I actually got to sleep, it was close to 1 a.m. and then I woke up at 6.30, wide awake, couldn't get back to sleep. I feel like you can tell I don't look all there. Oh God. I'm trying to remind myself that running is not a punishment. Exercising, moving my body is like a privilege. I need to not complain about it. It's a mindset, it's a mindset. <laughs> barely completed my run. That was probably the hardest run I've been on so far. I am gonna blame the heat though, because it was so hot. I definitely should have gone as soon as I woke up, my bad. But I had breakfast and then I had an errand to run. I had to go to Langs to pick up some things for work. And I just thought that while I was out, I would make a little outing of it and go to the beach. Because like, look, are you kidding me? Like, how could I not? I had a great swim and the water is like fresh, but not too cold. Like, you know in summer you go in the water and it's like kind of warm and it's not refreshing. This is like refreshing and icy, but not too icy. It's honestly perfect. I am in my peak happiness right now. My peak element. I'm having such a good time. I've been reading my book. I am 50 pages in. It's cringe. It's lusty. And I am enjoying. So I'm going to stay here for a little while. Honestly, until I'm hungry for lunch. And then go home. And then work for the rest of the day. Work. I just need to edit. But I told myself I could relax a little bit this morning if I hustled for the rest of the day. That's the plan. <laughs> 